Now, a recent study found that websites using AI-optimized content saw a 50% increase in organic traffic within just three months. Now, can you afford to miss out on this approach? Coming up in this video, what you're going to learn. Number one, how to leverage AI to supercharge your SEO efforts, making them faster, better, and more effective than before. Number two, the most powerful prompts you can use with AI tools to improve your SEO strategies and outrank your competitors. And number three, I'm going to give you expert techniques for crafting your own AI prompts that will take your SEO game to the next level, giving you a significant edge in SEO. Now stay tuned, because by the end of this video, you're going to have the knowledge to transform your SEO approach and potentially double your organic traffic in just a few months. Now let's think of SEO as a high stakes race, where only the first place finishers get a spot on the podium. In the past, everyone was running on foot and with enough training and effort, you had a fair shot at making it to that crucial first page. But now AI has introduced cars into this race. So imagine you're still running, pushing yourself to the limit while your competitors zoom past you in a Formula One car. They're covering in just minutes what used to take you hours. And remember, in this race, it doesn't matter if you're on page two or if you're on page 20. If you're not on the first page, you might as well be completely invisible. So ask yourself, if you're still running while others are driving Formula One cars, how long before you fall so far behind that you can't even see the finish line? In today's SEO landscape, using AI for SEO isn't about gaining an edge, it's about staying in the race. So let's dive into the top AI applications that we use at my agency for SEO. I'm going to cover content writing, click-through rate analysis, adding FAQs for comprehensiveness, creating topical maps, hyperlocal keyword research, and synergizing website content with your Google business profile. Boy, that's a lot. Okay, content writing. That's where I was going to start, but it's such a detailed topic that I actually spun it off into its own video. So here, I'm gonna go ahead and start with click-through rate analysis. This is a powerful tool for improving your search performance. It's the best way to deliver a quick win to a new client. So let me show you how we do it. So I'm in Claude here, and I'm gonna open my project for click-through rate analysis. And what I have in project knowledge, I have all of these custom instructions that will tell Claude exactly what I want it to do. So if I come over to the Google Search Console and I open up the website and I come down to performance, then I'm just going to export the CSV. I can open it up and I'll come back over to Claude. Now, there are two important CSV files here. One is the queries which I'll go ahead and open up off screen and I'll grab a few of the columns. Uh, I'll grab the A, B, C, D, and E. So it's top queries, clicks, impressions, CTR, and position. I'll paste that in and I'll go ahead and close out of that. And then I can open the next one, which is going to be top pages. Grab those, paste them in. And then I'll hit enter. I don't need to give any further prompting because I gave Claude all of the prompts that it needs in the project instruction section for this project. Okay, so the AI has finished generating the click-through rate analysis report. Now, this isn't something that I would give straight to a client without edits, but it's honestly pretty close. And if I had a client that I was doing a lead magnet for, I might just send this straight over them to show the first steps. Because if we look through this, it's pretty impressive. It's fairly thorough. It gives the top URLs, the bottom URLs. Uh, it talks about what URLs have what primary keywords. And this is all by inference. I didn't give it that data. It's giving me some trends, some position analysis, optimization opportunities. It's detected some cannibalization, which I wouldn't worry about too, too much. And it's just giving me this huge CTR report. The next few steps here, I would ask it to write new title tags or meta descriptions based on the primary keyword, based on the URL that it thinks it's targeting. So that click-through rate analysis, I was pretty happy with that. It's something that we can use to deliver quick wins to a new client. But AI can help us do so much more. Let's move on to how it can help us add FAQs to make our content more comprehensive. This not only boosts your search rankings, but also signals to Google that your content is relevant and thorough. Here's the project, and again, very similar to 
click-through rate analysis, we've given it some custom instructions for this project. And what we're going to do is feed it the people also ask questions for the target keyword. So in this case, it's plumber. So I'm going to grab people also ask questions by just clicking here over and over again to get more and more. And I'll copy all these questions and paste them in. And the second thing I'm going to do is grab the content on the page that has that target keyword. So then we'll come over here and paste that in. And we'll hit enter. As with the CTR analysis, we don't need any additional prompting. And here we have the AI going ahead and creating this FAQ section. Okay, so here's the FAQ is generated. This is the question, answer, question, answer, and it goes through all of these in the exact output format I wanted. So I could easily copy this, paste it onto that website at the bottom, and now we would have an FAQ section to further add more comprehensiveness to that content. In addition to that, I've also asked Claude to generate schema for me. So I can take this FAQ schema and add it directly to the markup section for whatever tool you're using to build your website. And then Google would know that there's an FAQ on that page and what the FAQ is about. So now that we've covered FAQs, I want to explore another powerful way to help use AI for SEO, creating topical maps. Now this technique helps to make sure you're covering all aspects of a given topic, which is really important for establishing authority in your niche with Google's algorithm. Google loves to see domains that comprehensively cover topics, and this is a great way to make sure you're doing exactly that. So not surprisingly, as before, I have detailed custom instructions for this topical map, and all we have to do is put in a topic. So let's just do plumbing and let it generate. Okay, so it's finished and you can see I've given it the topic of plumbing and it's giving me a detailed topical map for it. It's giving me the main topic and then primary subtopics. And each primary subtopic, it's giving me the target keyword that we would do, a suggested title tag, and it's giving me some long tail keywords here. And then it goes on to suggest more and more secondary topics with title tags and long tail keywords. And it goes on for quite some time. So if we wanted to produce all of this content, of course, with AI's help, we could, and that would do a massive amount toward establishing topical relevance and comprehensiveness with Google's algorithm. So let's talk about hyper-local keyword research. This is also incredibly valuable for Google's algorithm because of the geographic relevance that it provides, especially when you're targeting local markets. Now remember, Google wants to rank local businesses, not rank and rent or lead gen or professionals who's targeting an area that they don't live in. This can be a real challenge for those professionals who are going to struggle to get truly local content. So again, we have a project in Claude for local keyword research, and I've given it custom instructions as before with detailed instructions on what I would like it to do. And the output on this, I've given it city and the service, Houston Plumbing, and it gives me this hyper-local keyword suggestions, a variety of neighborhoods, landmarks, local events, transportation hubs, education institutions, shopping and business areas, sports and recreation, local cuisine, healthcare facilities, government civic buildings, and on and on and on. All right, let's look at another crucial aspect of local SEO, that's synergizing your website content with your Google business profile. We wanna make sure that your website talks about the primary and secondary categories that are on your Google business profile, and we want your website to talk about the services that are on your Google business profile. This alignment is key for maintaining consistency across your online presence and improving your local search performance. Now, under custom instructions, we have fairly lengthy custom instructions for what we want Claude to do with our input. And we're going to give it the primary category, the secondary categories, and the list of GBP services that we have on the Google business profile. Then we're simply going to grab the GBP landing page content, that is the content on the URL that you put in the website section of your GBP. Paste that in and we let Claude generate. So it's now finished and we can see that we have the output in exactly the format we wanted. We have a variety of headings and short paragraphs after each one. 
by mentioning all of these services and categories on the GBP landing page, we're gonna make sure that Google knows this website is exactly consistent with the information that we gave the Google Business Profile. So AI is transferring a variety of aspects of SEO, but we're really just scratching the surface. You've learned how AI can transform your SEO approach, but the critical insight is that these tactics are just the beginning, and the true differentiator is the content that you create. Without exceptional AI-enhanced content, even these most sophisticated SEO strategies are going to fall short. Mediocre content simply disappears into the void. So you might be wondering, how can I leverage AI to craft content that not only ranks, but resonates and converts? How do I scale my content production while preserving quality and authenticity? So I mentioned that I created a separate video that breaks down my multi-step process for generating top-tier content using AI. And I'll even show you that content will pass any AI detector. It'll help you craft the perfect prompts for your niche, ensure that AI-generated content maintains your brand voice, and it'll optimize your content for both search engines and human readers. So if you're ready to transform your content creation process and boost your SEO results even further, you can't miss this next Next video. Click here to watch it now. I promise it isn't just another tutorial with mediocre prompts. It's going to be your blueprint for creating high quality SEO optimized content at scale that reads like it was written by humans.